Meanwhile, the SEO Foreign Minister's meeting has wrapped up. Top diplomats of the Council met in India's state of Goa for two days of high-stakes diplomacy and discussions. In the main event that took place earlier in the day, leaders of the group sat together and discussed the core of the SEO, issues regional security and growth. Now, these were, of course, the issues that came up for discussions. While the meeting was a success, it was the Indian External Affairs Minister S. Jayashankar's comments during a press briefing that seemed to have made the headlines. He did not mince any words. He never minces his words. And the foreign minister called Pakistan out yet again for its duplicity on issues such as terror. While attacking the Pakistani foreign minister, a spokesperson of the terrorism industry. Remember, Bilawal Bhutto Zadari, the foreign minister of Pakistan, was in India and he had, of course, come down for the SEO meeting that took place in Goa. Listen in to what was said. You know, victims of terrorism do not sit together with perpetrators of terrorism to discuss terrorism. Victims of terrorism defend themselves, counter uh, acts of terrorism, they call it out, they delegitimize it, and that is exactly what is happening. So, to come here and preach these uh, hypocritical words uh, as though we are on the same boat, I mean, they are, uh, they are committing acts of terrorism. Let's be very, very clear on this. You know, on this matter, the terrorism matter, I mean, I, I would say uh, Pakistan's uh, credibility is depleting even faster than its forex reserves. And also while talking to Vion's principal diplomatic correspondent, Sidan Sibyl, question on the Chinese statement of stability along the LAC, a clear divergence from the press communique that was issued by India listening to what was of course said. India-China relations are not normal and cannot be normal if the peace and tranquility in the border areas is disturbed. I, you know, I've been very, very clear about it. I've been very consistent about it. And I have not changed my position uh, on, at this meeting either. Now, in the last 48 hours, the Indian minister has taken a flurry, has held a flurry of bilaterals. He met with his Russian, Chinese, Uzbek, Tajik and Kyrgyz counterparts. Now, the Indian and the Pakistani foreign ministers also, however, did not hold a bilateral meeting, though. Let me start with Russia. Uh, F.M. Lavrov and I noted the progress that has been made in our economic cooperation. Uh, we exchanged views on a number of regional and global developments. Now, like most high-level meetings since last year, Russia enjoyed a warm welcome at the SEO. All members have been more or less neutral on the war in Ukraine, and they all have either voted to abst either abstained uh, and have not criticized the Russian invasion of Ukraine at all during the UN resolutions condemning Russia's invasion. So for Sergei Lavrov, it was a summit, of course, to flex his influence. But the Shanghai Cooperation Organization is an intergovernmental organization. It was founded by Russia and China in Shanghai in 2001. The SEO had taken birth as a counterweight to the U.S. alliances across East Asia to the Indian Ocean. The group, of course, is mulling over adding Iran and Belarus to this alliance. India is the chair for this year, and the theme of the SEO this year is Secure SEO. New Delhi is also looking to secure its own interest in the region. The summit comes as the relations between Beijing and Moscow are taking greater significance. But China is, of course, gaining more and more leverage over Russia. And this, of course, could complicate things for New Delhi in the long run. Because remember, Russia happens to be such a major defense partner for India. Analysts say that the SEO remains important for access to Central Asia, especially at a time when Asia is, of course, emerging as a counter to West's long-enjoyed global dominance. And also our prim principal diplomatic correspondent, Sidan Sibyl, spoke to us a bit earlier with details about what transpired at the SEO meeting in Goa, listening to what Sidan Sibyl had to say.
The Shanghai Cooperation Organization's Foreign Minister's Meeting has concluded in Goa. We saw India trying to form consensus on global issues from counter-terrorism to connectivity. Fifteen decisions were adopted. Focus was also on modernization of the grouping. That means expansion of the grouping with Iran and Belarus expected to become full-fledged members at the summit that will happen in Delhi in July. But essentially, we know that uh, under the Indian presidentship, of uh, this grouping there will be a lot of engagement there are already 100 meetings which have happened and india basically wants that uh, there are uh, important changes in the grouping uh, we saw participation of all member countries at the goa foreign ministers meeting and at the summit we will see participation of world leaders and an expected presence of the russian president vladimir putin and the chinese president xi jinping with video journalist Chandrasekhar Sidhan Sibyl for Vion in Goa. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.